Okay. I think I got enough battery. I was going to put it on the charger, but I should be good. Okay, next is your enemies are shaking in their boots. Good job. <laughs> shaking in their boots. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't laugh. That's not nice. I didn't do it on purpose. It just came out. But just be advised, be aware. Your enemies, they're shaking in their boots. Good job. Next is go hang gliding. Okay. So now that all the blockages are removed, I think that came out earlier somewhere. Um, do it through the fear. Uh, run towards your dreams. Doing it anyway. Go hang gliding. Now that you know your enemies are shaking in their boots, get out, do something different, have fun, jump from a plane. I won't say bungee jumping. I'm, I was never partial to that. But if you'd like to do that, bungee jump. Um, you know, whatever it is that you haven't done, that you have the availabilities to do without putting a dent in your pocket or your budget or your household, even if it's just go to the water side with, the, you know, a person close to you or your children or yourself. Just do something you haven't done lately to create the essence and energy of love for yourself surrounding yourself. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Last card is... Prophecy, which is a prediction, or prophetic, which is accurately describing or predicting what will happen in the future. That's what you see going on. Prophecy, or being prophetic. Yeah. Messages that come out before they happen, and you see that they happen, regardless of who the source is, as long as it's not a dark source. Because that's not true, because dark sources can do it as well. But as long as it's no malice of intent, uh, it's prophetic, you know, however you want to dress it up and, and make it seem, that's what it is. We're going to just do this pile since it's out, calendar, and I might do one step. Oh, I didn't even do the tops yet. Let me see. I'll hurry up. So these cards are the ones that fell out that I put to the side. Wow. It says... I'll keep saying it until it sinks in. No weapons formed against me shall prosper. It won't work. Yeah, that came out already. So it was meant to be read. I'll keep saying it till it sinks in. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. It won't work. It won't. I'm telling you. I'm going to dig a deeper hole. That's, you don't want that. Next is, are you picking up what I'm putting down? <laughs> are you getting it? That no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I don't know how many times I got to say it. You picking up what I'm putting down? Just saying. Next card is Jay-Z. Family Feud. Mm. I'd listen to it if I was you. Next is Drake. Best I ever had. Mm. Maybe you got more than one person surrounding you or in your energy. Somebody seems to be going through something. And somebody seems to be in a loving energy. Somebody may be working with others. Mm. Be advised, be aware. You, you saw that earlier where it said, can we at least be friends? Without forging friendships right back like they used to be. Just make sure you're peeping the whole situation. Next is Saudi Arabia. Okay, so maybe you're going there. You know someone there. You have a vacation plan there. I don't know. You got business with someone in Saudi Arabia. Maybe something's going down in Saudi Arabia. Be advised, be aware. Next is, you had yourself, you hurt yourself trying to hurt me. I was sent to love you. Yeah, karma. You hurt yourself trying to hurt me. I was sent to love you. I don't know how many times I'm going to tell you that one. You tell people, though, in the beginning, you tell them. You tell them, and you tell them, and you tell them in so many ways. Straight up, directly, indirectly, multiple times, giving multiple options, and they still choose to mismanage you. And for that, they do pay, you know? And I hate for that to happen, because some people just don't believe that it's true. You know? I hate to leave casualties. Next is, look at that. You will not lose. So you've done your, you've done what you're supposed to do. They were trying to hurt you. You came in to love them. Keep going. You will not lose because you had good intent, good intentions, 
uh, everything you said was probably on the up and up and, and for the greater good of you both. No, I'm not calling the other party 100% pure or innocent or whatever the case may be. We all have backgrounds. We all have things we've gone through. But when you learn to move better and do better and you choose to do wrong anyway, you pay for that. You do. Next is real estate mobile. Woo! Pink? Like Saudi Arabia? I don't know. Maybe it's a real estate mogul of some sort coming into your life. Uh, maybe you're going to be a real estate mogul. Uh, this one's also pink. The answer's in the eyes. This one's pink. Nationality. The status of belonging to a particular nation. This one's pink. Be still and know he is God. Being advised to stay hydrated, drink more water. Let's see if I got any more paintings. Aww. You hurt me. You hurt yourself trying to hurt me. I was here to love you. I don't know. Did somebody mess over a real estate mogul? Know who that is? Those are the ones that came out in the same color. That's the reason why I showed it. But real estate mogul is next. So maybe you will be one. Maybe you you left one. Maybe uh, that's your goals. I don't know how it really how it relates in your situation. Next is divine guidance equals divine timing. Okay. So don't listen to me. <laughs> no, listen to me. But don't put the iffies in your situation. If you already know who is who and what is what, divine timing is at play. Okay. So just listen to your own divine guidance, your own discernment, and allow divine timing to play out for you. Next is Sendinjum. Sendinjum? That's Egyptian talk, and it's a servant in the place of truth. Artesian. Want more information on it? Go ahead and look that up. And then the last card is Saturn. It's our ruling planet, right? Yep. Saturn. All right, so recaps, Jaguar, Scepter, Multi-City, and State Walkout. These are just things that I think should be re-mentioned. -re uh, Rick, Jabari Osazi, Mike, uh, Bridges, and Kapu Sokarpikis. Locations, Saudi Arabia, uh, Navajo National Monument, Rio de Janeiro, United Kingdom, and the UK, Flower Petal Underground Home in the UK, Spanish, Como Estas, How Are You, the only sign that came out was Virgo, um, songs, Drake, Best I ever had, Jay-Z, Family Feud, Wotomi, I do. Uh, closer I Get to You, Roberta Flack, and Donnie Hathaway, and Cupid, 112. All right, tops. First one is, what is that? Netmar, it's a name. My son told me to put this one in. Let me see. Might be a mistake. I'm looking up so much stuff right now. Yeah, that was just something I looked up. Oh, no, a name he gave me, Netmar. So first, middle, last person, place, or thing, however it relates in your life. Second top is... Mind-boggling protection is your reward for listening, being faithful, um, doing as God instructed, healing, moving in love and light. Mind-boggling protection is your reward. One of them. Last top is... The 
first will be last and the last will be first. <laughs> I tell y'all I'm not doing this stuff. It's, it's how they come out, baby. And it ain't nothing I can do about that. You know what I'm saying? But read it. All right. So what is today's day? I'm being honest. I don't want to put it in May. Okay, so Sunday, May 15th. Well, Saturday and Sunday are going to be the same. So it would have been the same for Saturday. It's... Saturday, Sunday, May 14th, and May 15th. And if you run from your fears, there goes fears again, they will follow you. If you run straight at your fears, they will get the hell out of your way. Fear hates it when you do that. What did I say earlier? Hang glide, uh, you know, jump out of an airplane. Whatever you feel like you haven't done that you've always wanted to do and you have the means to do so and it won't put you in any sort of bind, walk the beach barefooted. I don't know. Whatever it is that you're afraid of, let's face that and get over it because it's only holding you back. You don't want your fears to dictate your life and, and the steps that you take and the progress that you made. And it's very easy to do. Trust me, I know I've been stuck in fears a large portion of my life and releasing myself from those fears only empowered me as an individual it only allowed me to see the beauty within me and i ask you to do the same you're absolutely gorgeous just the way you are all right let's put the camera down i'm going to get an affirmation then we're going to do a crystal today. I'd like to recommend a crystal for you. And if we have time, time we'll do a New Orleans Oracle. Okay, guys? Then after this, I'm going to get out here, fix my son something to eat, and I'll see what I'm going to do. see I usually spread them out and pick one but I'm gonna do it different today see what comes out I'm only gonna shuffle one time I mean you know I don't know what you call this what this is but I'm only gonna do it once unless nothing comes out okay. All right so we got three I have generosity. I give gener generosity to those around me. No matter how much or how little I have, I know there is more than enough to go around. And the key is to allow it to keep going around without stopping. If I stop the flow, I'm like the person at the stadium who doesn't do the wave. <laughs> yeah, be generous with your time, your compliments, your smiles, just good behavior. Doesn't say anything about money. Next card is trust. I trust that everything will be okay in the end, partly because I simply know in my gut, but also because it's way more fun to live with trust and confidence than to be a defensive winner. Yeah, the last will be first, the first will be last. Trust that, know that. As long as you've moved in love and light around all those sharks, you see them in the picture. Look, with a blindfold on and you made it through, Oh, the worst is over. Last affirmation card that came out is inspiration. This is a voice of inspiration within me. Right now, it only whispers. But the more I listen, the louder it will get. Soon, it will be a flawless speech. Voiced by James Earl Jones through a megaphone with lots of applause. Yes, your inspiration, baby. It's going to increase in passion and insight and love and grace and favor. Yeah. Once you get into you, woo, these are the ones that flew out. Everyone's a teacher. Everyone I cross the path with is a teacher in that moment. The one who gives me the fun lessons are the ones I call friends. The ones who give me the hard lessons I sometimes call a-holes. <laughs> They've chosen a tough job, but 
Someone's got to do it. So today, I'm thanking all the a-holes. Thank you, a-holes, for playing your part in making me a better person. Absolutely. I thank everyone that I have had butt heads with or ran into or had any issues or concerns with. Thank you. Keep your distance, but I thank you. Next is options. Uh-oh, this new beginning, you've got options, baby. As I open to the abundant possibilities of my life path, I'm reminded that I always have unlimited options. Life is a buffet, and I allow myself to choose whatever makes me happiest without limiting thoughts like, you can't put mac and cheese on potato salad. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't do that, but yeah, you got options. You know that. Everybody else know it too now, so take your time. Make the right decision. You know, once you in, you in. You know. And the last card that flew over to the side was gentleness. I speak with gentleness and I listen with gentleness. I align with the gentlest part of myself. And I take joy in being receptive, open, and unafraid. I'm like a baby deer whose best friend, best friends with a baby elephant. Wow, elephant. The baby elephant wraps its little trunk around my shoulders and we lie down gently on the grass daydreaming and talk about talking about what sorts of humans the clouds look like oh wow that's beautiful gentleness Woo! speaking of gentleness it's so elegant i love it i love a gentle soul gentle being have to handle them with kid gloves a lot of people aren't genuinely gentle. They do it for the praise and recognition and, you know, to see if they're getting to where they think they want to get, not knowing it's only hurting. Moving on. All right, this is our crystal cards. So we're going to see what crystals come out. This might be it, you guys. Let's see. Bottom of the deck, please. Crystal cards. All right, so we got four. I didn't read the bottom of the affirmations. I might get to that. Okay, so you have Apothalite, which is increased support. Your positive focus and willingness to receive has opened the doorway to an abundance of help and opportunities. I told you, baby. New Beginnings was on 9999 and 999. Here you go. Walk through the door. It's open for you. No more blockages. They've all been removed. Next is topaz. Forgiveness heals. Time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and happiness. Any anger or angst you feel towards anyone or anything or situation from the past, let it go. There's nothing you can do about it. And it only resides within you. Release it. Laramar is sensitive emotions. There goes gentleness, sensitive emotions. Everything's correlating. But it's say times of heightened emotions and sensitivity call for extra self-care and gentleness. Gentleness right on the card. Yeah. And these are all crystals that you can get to assist you with these healing processes. And then the last crystal that came out was Aqua Aura, which is, a, is healthy communication and relationships. Heart-to-heart -heart discussions and clear, assertive communication helps you understand and be understood. Help you with communication in relationships. Wonderful crystal. Okay, bottom of the deck is uh, Chariot. Chariot is possibly how it's pronounced. Spiritual protection. There goes your protection again. That came up in these. The uh, affirmations are now here in the crystal cards. You're protected. Okay? Me as well, but you are definitely. You are being watched over. And protect it physically, emotionally, and energetically. Be grateful. Be thankful. Everyone does not have that. A lot of people have lost their backing in the spiritual realm. You don't, you not only have yours, but it's increased. Thankful and grateful. Okay, the bottom of the affirmation deck is... Or did I read it? I don't know. Playfulness. 
I'm a playful participant in life and I always have the option to make, there go options again, to make something a fun game rather than a heavy burden. Mary Poppins put sugar in the medicine for the for a reason. The lady really knows how to party. So playfulness. Yeah. And let's see, where am I at? 20, I'm gonna try to do these real quick. I'm not gonna read the book today. We're just gonna see what comes out. And these are the New Orleans Oracles. Walker, let it go. I don't know if I heard this already or not. I'm not sure. Two more times, bottom of the deck. card is music healing that's what i'm doing right now put your music on dance around get your energy up music healing next card is adventure we've been talking about it all day jump out of plane and uh, parasail ski uh surf something you haven't done before you know fall in love i don't know whatever is an adventure to you look it's wide open pathways straight through no blockages and it's all beautiful Next is abundance. Abundance come out in the cards, came out in affirmations, came out in the crystals. And here we are here in the New Orleans cards, abundance. So an abundance of love, abundance of protection, abundance of finances. Whatever abundance is to you, it's pouring over into your life. If it's not there yet, it's coming. Next is peace. Yeah, that's probably all you're interested in like me. Peace, love, light, grace, favor, diligence, and you know militantness if necessary but for the most part peace last card that came out is share your gifts yep said that earlier in the affirmation card which one was it inspiration and it came out in the cards in some form i'm not going to dig back through but it's just showing you how everything correlates share your gifts my love and the bottom of the deck is keep going Yep, look at your pathway. Don't give up. You're right there. It's so close. Keep going and all those beautiful, magical things will meet you on the way. Thank you all for taking time to share with me again any of your energy through these readings, through the love that we share, through the responses, through the sponsorships, through the cash apps, through the support, uh, the love and light. Um, I see you grace, favor, and all things. And thank you for continuing to put up with me. I know I am a bit much. Is that? I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, I love you all. I do. I do. I do. And there's nothing you can do about it. Have a beautiful day. After you hit stop on this, go to the music you like. Put it on and dance around. Do that for me and you. Love you guys. See you soon.